Hi you guys, this is Ginger Cook and tonight we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step portrait of Vincent van Gogh and we're going to talk about uh, how he did this impressionistic style with tiny little brush strokes. We're going to trace this on. It looks a little complicated. I think you're going to be surprised how easy it is and we're going to learn a little bit about complementary colors, a little bit about how to make skin tones. It's If you're thinking about wanting to do portraits, this is the video for you because it's uh, he was kind of strange looking anyway, and I think uh, probably anyway painting with looks just look great. Anyway, follow along with me. Come on in, join John and I as we show you a portrait of Vincent van Gogh step by step on how to paint him and paint along with me. And, and now, without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the queen of color, the mother of artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning master acrylic artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylic. I have to have the iPad. I have to have the iPad, John. I guess I've got to blow this up, right? All right, everyone. We are back. We're back? We're back. Hi, you guys. We're sorry. This got off a little late to us. We're going to No, be... we're on Europe time. We're on Europe time. And um, we're going to be painting tonight, as I said in our intro, uh, this portrait of Vincent van Gogh. One of the things I like to do is I'll use an iPad like this to take the photo of it and blow it up so that in certain areas I can really see it. And one of the things, if you've never done this before, should I show you a trick with your iPad? Sure. Sure, I'm going to, all right, so put put it down here. I'm going in under uh, display and brightness, okay? And then I want to come up here under auto lock. And then I'm going to say, hit the word never. And then you want to make sure you remember to take that off of there. Your <laughs> iPad will go dead in seconds, but it's never going to turn off, okay? So if you're going to use an iPad and you want to use it, so why would you want to do that? Well, if you go to Photos and we've put the image that he's done in Photos, you can do something like this, you see? You can take your fingers and blow up a certain area. And I'll tell you what, there's nothing better about learning how to do something and see something um, you know, paint something if you can see what it is. So you can really take an area and you can say, okay, this is what he did. This is how he painted. You can see how he, look at the different colors on his mouth. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you can see the brush strokes. This is a fabulous. If you haven't tried painting with your iPad, um, you know, um, you don't need a brand new one to make this work. Um, this happens to be a new one, but you don't need a new one. And I have to say that, you know, any old, most uh, any of the older iPads will do that. And since I, Apple always comes out with new stuff, chances are you probably could pick up a, a new one pretty inexpensively. Now, hopefully, uh, by the time you're watching this, we will have got, had this on our Pinterest uh, page. This is a black and white uh, photo of uh, the printout of our picture. All right. Here's a painting I did originally of him. And here's the kind of a very plain paper one. You can see the, the when you print out regular on regular paper, you lose the color. That's why I love the iPad too, because you keep the color. So, so I've got little. This is just what John, a little eight by ten canvas. That's a little eight by ten canvas. Little eight by ten canvas. I painted it orange. Okay. Who painted it orange? I did. You did. Somebody. <laughs> oh, it got painted orange, you guys. Yes, and yes, it got painted orange. And so then uh, uh, you just, <clears throat> it, this works out really well because you just kind of lower this down at the bottom and uh, then we're going to tape it down. We're going to use some Sorrel transfer paper, um, if we had any. I think I see some over there Oh, on the oh just pile. wait, wait. I had to get the computer closer to me. Okay, John's still arranging his stuff. I'm going to get out Ranging? Of ranging? Ranging. Well, Ranging. look, we just, uh, about 10 minutes ago, I was sound asleep thinking I had like two hours before <laughs> the show. <laughs> what color would you like, my dear? Yeah, but nothing like a fast recovery. Come on, you got to go with that, right? Blue? Uh, blue would be perfect, wouldn't it? Or blue or red? No, red wouldn't show up. <laughs> yeah, let's now, do red let, on let orange. Let me show them the transfer paper. Oh, okay. So this is Sorrel transfer paper. If you happen to want to know where you buy this stuff, most 
uh, most hobby stores have it. Um, we have it on a little. We have a link to this on our Amazon store, just so you can find it easily. It comes in lots of different colors. You can buy it by the roll, like um, wax paper. But the problem with that is that you can use it because you can use it over and over again. I mean, it's a lifetime of of. A, a, a roll is forever. If then you're doing small stuff, this is handier. If I was doing a large canvas, I would buy the roll of it, so I could make the you know piece it together. But here you see, I've done all kinds of things. I think the last thing I did on this was Fireline with the blue. So let me just you turn it down. And John was so good. He wrote. He said this side <laughs> up. He wrote that for me. So at least I'd be confused. <laughs> Well, you know what? You get in a hurry. You think, why isn't but this working? But you shouldn't be in a hurry. You should slow down. Yeah. I Smell know. the I coffee. Feel, you know, I always feel a little bit like I'm on fire. You know, here, I'm going to try that. Just did it work? It's showing up. Yay, yes, right? So then what happens? Well, you got to have some sort of tapey stuff. Let me move the fishy out of the way. Wait, wait, wait. I had some tapey stuff in between my... Oh, there's some tapey stuff. Thanks, John. Um, so what is this kind of tapey stuff? You see me use that all the time. It's just called artist tape. The reason this is better for, for painters rather than, um, oh, say scotch tape or something is because it, when you, you can use it on your actual canvas on top of your dried paint and it won't uh, lift up your paint underneath. So that can be very handy, yeah? Good to know that, um, 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 um. Ooh. Judy has got the image up on Pinterest already. All right, so it's up on Pinterest. And so that's, someone says, well, how do you come up with the traceable? What do you know what to trace? We didn't do you an outline. My daughter, Cinnamon, and I were laughing about this today because I said, um, you know, I know some of the other artists on YouTube, they'll do a big fancy outline, but I think you're really, I have confidence in that you can just draw the information you think you're going to need, right? How's that? And if you have a black and white, print a black and white of your picture out, um, that, All the that's, better. Oh, so that's good, right? That'd be a good thing to do. Yes and yes? Yes and yes. So I've lined this kind of up with the bottom. I think where I want the height, well, let's see, where I've got it on here, where I did it on here was I had the, see, there's there's the top of this. So I, I've got about... Um, two finger. Two fingers. So I'm going to go up just... A skosh. Just a skosh. I think I'm going to go up at least a finger from the bottom. I need to, I can give him more... Um, a little more coat. A I can colder. give him a little more coat. That's the. That's. The, I don't want him too far down because it's going to look odd. Does that make sense? And for some reason, I have this is not quite as big as the image I blew up and painted myself. But look at you know. I think it's going to be fine. I'll just come up just. Oh, I'll, that's I'll, a big skosh. It's a big skosh. Maybe two fingers up. I can give him that. Coat. Where's the top of the uh, canvas? Well, the top of the can. Oh no, no, I see. see? I got confused. <laughs> see, here, gosh. Gee, somebody's paying attention. Yeah. Okay. Gosh, now that works. <laughs> yeah, just one finger. Then here's the top. That's yeah, what I was saying. That's, that's good. Good thinking, boss. Here. All right. Well, there you go. Gonna do it squarely, please. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing it square. No. Yes. No. No. Oh, you take her out of the country, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone. All right, here you go. Yeah, okay. So, well, it wants to slide around here. What can I say? All right, going to do like that. Yeah, do line up the edges straight with the edges of your canvas. Or, you know, this won't be work real well. Yeah? Yeah? It's just squared yeah. up right there, there pretty go. good? That's looking pretty good. Not, not too tippy? Got a little yeah. tippy. Well, How did it get so tippy? I'm telling you what, this is, you know, some people have... People don't like me around Christmas presents either. Just give me the tape. We'll do it. You know, <laughs> just give me the tape. But it's, don't be touching the tape. You know, when John, John and I went uh, on our trip, they had this watercolor artist that was on the ship. And she, I don't know, she had like 40 people and it was free. You could go show up and yep. you could do a watercolor. And I thought, well, you know, I, I hadn't done watercolor in years. And what, watercolor is done totally different than acrylic painting. And I thought, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my mouth shut, not let her know I can paint. Which of course I couldn't, and then uh, <laughs> just just follow her directions exactly as she said them, not not how I thought you should do it, but just what she said to do. And I had this hot mess, and <laughs> didn't look anything like mine. Oh my gosh! And John says, "Well, why didn't you?" He, John has done, done watercolor before. He says, "Why didn't you leave the? Um, why didn't you do like what she said?" And I'm going, "Well, 
I did what she said, <laughs> not what she meant, okay? So I thought, well, I can take advantage of that. I want to make sure that, that, that what I say makes sense to you. That's what I mean. So uh, really not what I'm doing here, obviously. So what you want to do is um, get a red pen or something so you can tell where you've been. Get a colored pen. And, um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to outline this. And I'm, we'll talk a little bit about the trip. So we went, we didn't really have time to, she had this watercolor class that lasted like 10 days you could have gone and done and she had this little tiny watercolor set that she got at the five and dime with this little tiny brush that uh, uh, couldn't have put uh, well I don't know it was the craziest thing ever I, I don't know what she thought was going to happen with all that but she got a free cruise for teaching people and everybody was drunk enough they seemed happy <laughs> they start people drinking we don't drink and so I'm a little you know so, um, so we were disadvantaged we were disadvantaged um <laughs> And uh, they they may make they sell these drink packages on cruises, and uh, you, in order to get your money's worth, you got to have ten drinks a day. a day a day to make that work. You know, well, good lord! I mean, these people don't drink that much at home. Even the ones that you know have got problems. You know, so suddenly everybody's got a problem. And um, anyway, it was funny. So we had a good time. Um, uh, and, and, and what I learned from that, because she had some clever things that she said. And, you know, look at that. You can learn stuff from everybody. And I learned a little bit from her. And one of the things that I learned just from what we, you and I do is, um, I certainly hope that's, um, yeah, it's sticking out here. Um, one of the things I learned from what you and I do is that what you want to ha have happen is that when you, <coughs> explain something that that you're talking to the person that has no idea what you're talking about you know you're not talking to the person that's done this 20 or 30 times you're talking about which some of you guys have thank you very much but talking about the person that just tuned in and go, who is this crazy broad in your tracing paper okay so that's what we're doing all right so I'm gonna just make sure I, when I'm doing this on this I'm not just you see me doing several a back and forth strokes with the pen. If you find that your transfer paper isn't transferring, uh, sometimes you're not pushing hard enough. Sometimes you could put a piece of cardboard underneath the back side of the canvas. It's it sometimes works better on something harder, and um, um, and test it first. Make sure you know every once in a while, test it. Make sure you actually can see what because the the most important thing in here is going to be the nose and the eyes. So we're going to take some real time with that um, and do that, okay. John said, said we show people the watercolor. I thought I should show people the well, watercolor. Well, that's why I was roaming around looking for it. I don't remember where I put it. Well, that and the things we bought, you can't find either. No, you Are you giving me the look? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Uh, in fact, you put them with the papers. In the photographs. Right. That narrows it down. Um, yeah. I Didn't it? Not really. That didn't help? Neither. Okay, so I want to make sure I've got a cigar, or this is his pipe coming out Yeah, of we here. wanted to show you the watercolors, but they're funny. Well, I mean, it's, I, mean it's, I think you'd be just shocked how bad mine is. It looks like someone six did it. And I was sitting there going, um... Because, you know, in acrylics, I wouldn't really care what I did because I can fix it. Does that make sense? <laughs> in but watercolor, there ain't no fixing. There's no fixing this, friends. There's just uh, laughing. And because, um, again, I did exactly what she said I did yeah, to she do, did. but it's not how you do it. And I thought, but I was trying to, um, I thought, well, maybe she has some way I've just never heard of. Apparently not. It's just you just can't do it that way. But, I, I, um, and then she had examples up on her wall of stuff she had done, all right? And I'm not putting too fine a point on it, um, uh, that weren't anywhere near close to the stuff. And then she's showing examples of a watercolor set that cost hundreds of dollars. And then she gave us, probably if that watercolor set had cost 49 cents and she wanted them back too, I would have been surprised. No, she did want them back. She did. We gave yeah. them back. Yeah, we gave she them wanted back. them back. We gave back, and she, she threatened to hunt us down if she, we didn't return these 39-cent things. And um, uh, what can I say, right? I just said, I just thought that that was too funny. 
All right, so I've got this. I'm sure I have his shoulder here. Um, let's see, we're just coming along here like this with the different colors. Um, I think I've done, and this is why you want re a red pen. See, with the red pen, I can um, see where you've been. I can see where I've been and make sure that it is, in fact, um, transferring. Transferring because. Good thing we're working together tonight. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you what, I, we, John and I. Um, had gone down to Houston today and got caught in traffic. We had some business downtown, which is like an hour from where we live. And um, then we went out and ate lunch, a, a dinner about 3.30 to 4.30. Then I came home. And we thought we had plenty of time. And I took home. I laid down and took a nap. And then John wakes me up. He says, it's 7. Judy wants to know where you guys are. <laughs> How could it be 7? Right? 7.30. That that's it was what already seven thirty. It was already seven thirty. Yeah. yeah. Last I looked at my clock, it said six o'clock, and I kept working a little bit, trying to find some things and get ready for the show. And all of a sudden, Judy says, "Where are you guys?" So, all right. So I, I did it. Now this is this is all she wrote, you guys. So just hope I did it right. Well, I like how you treat my uh, <clears throat> your paper. Paper. Well, mm. okay. It's a, it's a. All right. So I got him. Okay. It looks pretty good. That's pretty good. Yes and yes. So here, and look, see, you can, I can use this paper again. That's the thing about this transfer paper. You can use it over and over again. Now what I want to do is take a, um, a Posca pen, and I want a red one. And, uh, you know, and you're going, but I don't have a Posca pen. And I'm going, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> he, has, he had, I guess you could take a tiny brush. Let me show you on my iPad. Whoops, come back here. He had, his eyes are outlined in red. Do you see this? Yeah. I so see that. you can outline them with a brush in red. Um, I think which he pen, did. Which he, he didn't did. Have a he did, pen. but his was a, uh, probably a little bigger. But we went to the Van Gogh Museum in Holland. People said, well, how was your trip? Where'd y'all go? We went to the Van Gogh Museum in Holland, and I'll tell you a little bit about my museum experience. And um, uh, so, um, let's see, is this going to show up? Um, it's well, not going to show yeah, up gonna on there. I'm going to actually lose my blue. So, um, can you come back after? I'll have to come back after. In the meantime, I think I'll do blue. Just so, I need this, I just, just so I can know where it is. And that's too big a point. Where's my small fine point blue pen? Here, I'm going to use a blue pen because I want to see these eyes. I can always go back in with a little brush and paint over the blue red. But if you lose the eyes, you've lost the whole painting, you guys. So I want to make sure that you, someone says, well, can I use a black Sharpie? Yeah, probably you could, right? Oh, so, I don't know if I'd use a Sharpie. <laughs> well, if they that, might just, run. Yeah, it's going to pick up and... So I just want to make sure that I don't, I have not lost these eyes here. Um, this the bear is in the had, house. Had all, who's in the house? The bear. Yo, oh. hello. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jamie. Okay, yeah. so oh, yeah. oh, hi, I Sammy. just want to make sure that I haven't lost so this love. this nose in his mouth. And so I'm just going to color it in his mouth here. Because uh, I'll tell you what, I can paint over this. And um, the blue shows up. That's kind of nice. Uh, we bought a whole set of these Posca pens. They last. Because if they dry, they don't... Um, here, let's just do this. I could have done the pipe in black. Uh, and his pipe is in black, but you know, here we go. I just want to make sure we have this. Um, I'm Which just, is interesting because he outlined a lot of his stuff. He, yeah, he did. So I think we, you know, it's fair. He did outline a lot of his stuff, and I just don't want to lose any of my lines when I'm painting him like that. See, so just where his face is. Can you kind of see his face all better now, you oh, guys? Absolutely. You can see his face all better, and I don't really think it matters. Here, I'll just do some dots up here like this. Kind of indicating the hat. Indicate where this is going to go, <clears throat> right? Because I've just, um, that's going to be different brush strokes. But his hat, his blue hat, I can put in. And I know this is, it's it's time to do this now. <laughs> Rather than, than fret about where this was later, okay? Okay, so I'm just really quick. This doesn't take long once I've got some lines here. Yeah, you're just tracing it. Just, just. Kind just of going, going over, over my again. lines a little bit so I can see him. And you can see him, too, <clears throat> which is never a bad thing, yes? So anyway, we went to the Van Gogh Museum. And when we took a, John and I booked this tour through, um, what was the name of the company? 
and not when we got to Holland. Shore it, excursions. Shoreexcursions.com, and I would recommend them if you're traveling because you don't have to be on a cruise ship to use them. You just anywhere you're going, if they happen to have well, in their case, they want to kind of know where the ship is, but. In Holland, they, they use this company. And so anyway, this guy was very knowledgeable, this young man that gave us that. We did the tour of the Reich Museum and the Van Gogh. And the one thing I had not realized, because I've seen a few of Van Gogh's paintings, and of course many were lost, but he was the guy that did, he was the selfie king, right? <laughs> oh, he, he was. He painted himself in so many different And portraits. it was amazing to see where he was in the time of his life and actually what was going on in his life, and then what his self-portraits looked like. Yeah, and he did his portraits, uh, and, and he, 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 wanted to be, he wanted to be able to be, do portraits. And um, that was just one of his things, is to do portraits. And uh, so I thought that was sort of interesting about him, and I was hoping for more, and i got to tell you, I was hoping for a little more in the museum than was there. You were what? Um, they they take his uh, artwork and oh. because of the damage to light and so forth, and he didn't use the best materials. You know, he was like using student grade paints is the way, best way to explain it. He couldn't afford the good stuff, and so a lot of his paintings have faded. There's a painting in museum in London of some roses that are white, used to be red, kind of thing, right? Because he couldn't afford the good stuff, and. Um, so, you know, it's hard to know. I mean, he had, sometimes he couldn't, sometimes he couldn't, and depending on the, because he lived, he, he didn't have a job. You know, his brother um, is the one that gave him the money for the art supplies and was his sponsor. So um, that's, that's the, that was the key there was, uh, he, so he, and he painted a lot. So uh, anyway, the upshot of his is that uh, uh, a lot of, they, they changed their paintings in the, in the Van Gogh Museum there in Holland in Amsterdam, every six months they switch the collection over, not counting the ones they've got out roaming around the world for other people to see. So uh, you, you may go and, and not see the, the paintings you were hoping to see. And uh, sadly, by the time, and I, I confess, uh, we had just gone to a fabulous, I think you have till the 27th of June, it gets its, uh, it's the last day for the Van Gogh exhibit in Houston. And if you anywhere near Houston and you haven't gone to see that, you ought to, because it's excellent, the, the, the exhibit we have here in Houston. I'm going to put out paints while we, we chat, right? And um, we're going to oh, Can out. you ask one question before I lose it? Yeah. I hate to interrupt you, but uh, Reagan is asking, why do we always start with the eyes for a portrait? Um, well, That's I don't kind know. of the focal point. I mean, the eyes are your focal <laughs> point, and if you don't have the eyes, the eyes don't look like the person. You got nothing. Yeah. And most people get their eyes all twisty. <laughs> I, I have <laughs> people like I, a like a Picasso. Yeah, they got their eyes all up and crooked. Yeah, all, the eyes are everything, right? You get the you get the um, you, the eyes are the thing. And I don't know if people always start with that, but you ought to at least have those drawn in right. You can't not. You know, I had a friend that said named John Douglas, and. Um, he was one of, uh, he did a portrait of Cinnamon and myself and it years ago, like, I don't know, thir almost 25 years ago now. <laughs> and he used to do all the, the portraits of an airbrush artist, but he did all kinds of portraits of movie stars. He was a, uh, worked for uh, Merv, Merv Griffin, put a bunch, you know, bought probably 40 of his paintings. And he was one of these individuals that a lot of people can paint, but not everybody can do portraits. It's a very funny thing. It's like brain surgery. There's just certain skills that people have. And he had this ability to really make people look like each other. But one of the things he did was he traced it on. He didn't fool around. He didn't just free. There's no, there's no benefit in just sketching it on if it doesn't look like the person. You've got to get the image on that looks like the person. I mean, that's key. Van Gogh used to, um, he had a grid system he looked at. And he would, uh, uh, he, if he had a mirror, he was looking at himself in a mirror. He had a grid and then he had a grid on his canvas, and that he drew it in. But that you know, nobody's just freehanding the stuff in. Not that you can't, but if you really want it to look like the person, and and, and I see this because in our art academy, you know, uh, one of the things you can do if you're a member of our art academy is to uh, put um, give me once a month. You can send me an, a, a painting that's not one of our tutorials and say I want to work on this. And oftentimes people take advantage. Well, this is Aunt Mary, or this is my grandchild. What do you think? What I think is you've got to start off with a good photo, and what I think is that you need to um, make sure that you've um, 
uh, you know, trace trace the image on, gridded it on. Make sure that you're you're that you're starting off with your best possible. Best foot forward. Best foot forward. That's it. Any other questions? Why we're putting out paint? So far, we've got yellow oxide white, ultramarine and blue, and phthalo blue. We'll put out some cad red. There's no surprise there. I'm really surprised with the cad red. <laughs> I know you are, right? <laughs> and let's see. Uh, now I've got blue like a Smurf. I got a blue finger. Uh, so anyway, back to the museum here. So we, we, um, how many hours was that tour? Like five, six hour tour? That Mike Museum tour? I think we had three and two. Yes, yeah, so it was five. Five total between the two. Five I'll or six hours. What, and um, the the I had not been feeling well. I had some sort of flu virus before we left for about two weeks. And so I hadn't been doing any treadmill stuff. And let me tell you a secret about art museums. They are fond of <laughs> stairs and floors. They love to make you floors. walk. And, and this art guide, bless his heart, didn't mention there was an elevator. By the time he says, well, we'll just start at the top first. And we, top of what? This museum. And so we're climbing up these marble stairs and... Then he's off wandering around. I'm going, I'm still trying to catch my breath on st on the first, second floor. You know, We're, everybody's up to the third. Huh. Just tooling along, having marvelous tooling time. Tooling along, right? So, and I'm going, where are the chairs? Where, where can I sit? I want to just sit and look at a painting for a while. Well, whatever's here. I just want to sit and look at something for a while. And he's going, oh, on to the next painting. But anyway, it was fun. So the time we got to the Van Gogh Museum, um, which was a hike over there, too. They're, they're together, sort of. All right, so let me move this out of the way, and now I'm just going to put this here, and um, <clears throat> everybody's kind of good, and this is kind of, you can see there's my paper. I just want to make sure I have the right colors. So I want this sort of olive green. Now that's got to be with ultramarine blue, and I want a flesh tone. Oh, it's sorry, I think we're Kind of like your army green. Yeah, and I want some purple, because I'm going to use that to make my flesh tones. And... Um, uh, I think, and this is, try to be very colorful with this. Does that make sense? Uh, try to have this as colorful as you can. I'm going to put on a little magenta, too. All right, so this, we'll just do this. Oh, somebody had asked, is the wedding cruise in September? Uh, no, the wedding cruise is next May. It's next May. All right, so now then, I'm trying to think what I got. We have yellow, cad red medium, yellow oxide. That was magenta, white. Uh, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, and purple. I don't think we need any brown. We're probably pretty good, right? No brown? How are you doing the pipe? Well, we'll mix the brown. Okay. I don't know how we're doing the pipe. I haven't thought about that yet. That's too far away. That's too far away. I think... Um, and, I, and if you had a black Posca pen, this wouldn't be the ba bad thing, because you could then outline the pipe with a black, black Posca pen. We'll do that later. All right, so then we need a small brush. And now we started off with, um, um, let me sh show you. This is actually red here, and this is orange. Okay, that's how I started off. You can't count my paper paper because it's all faded, but there is a value change between these two, okay? So we're going to start off with something very tiny and paint the eyes in. And, and she's right, we're going to get those eyes in. And um, which was really neat. He had green eyes. You know what? If we had phthalo green, that would make this really electric. What's kind of fun about this is that it's a little bit, not that I'm saying he's a dog, but it's a little bit like our dog picture with all the colors. <laughs> uh -huh. You know about Pat? Pat the painting, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit like that. And the fact that the reason I picked this was because you don't have to, you know, there's a lots of little brush strokes. You don't have to get this so perfect, you guys. You can just sort of have you, fun with this. You're not trying to make a uh, forge. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't have to get so perfect. Yes and yes. So, let's see. I had a, well, okay, here's something called phthalo green. Let's just get that out. So I think that's a pure pigment. If you didn't have it, that's phthalo blue. Um white and yellow cad yellow that cad yellow medium would get you some sort of phthalo green how's that you get your clothes get your it gets you in the neighborhood get you in the neighborhood so i'm going to do a little bit of that and white hey nancy's on tonight nancy who nancy my sister who? oh hi nancy <laughs> <laughs> nancy, who? nancy who which nancy <laughs> oh that gal 
All right, so here I'm just going to take it and do the the pupils, and just using the corner of this brush here, I'm going to just get his pupils. There you go, right? That that's already you're going magnificent, right? Yay, trouble! We're done. Da -da. Did, you, did you use Okay, well, that? thanks. We'll see you next week, and <laughs> just, we'll do the next part. <laughs> just <laughs> wow, just um, all right. I, that's a little dark, friends. So we're going to make that a little bit more white in there and lighten those up. I want that a little bit brighter. Okay, I like that. So as long as I'm in the greens, if I wanted to do phthalo green and tone it down, right, I would, uh, red would be my influencer. And here's a little bit of white. I'm going to take a little bit of red and some yellow oxide. And I bet you I get a little more yellow oxide. I want a sort of a um, more of an olive green, right? So I'll put a little bit more red in there to tone it down. Where are you going next? I'm going to go down here and do his coat because I'm in ah, green. Ah, okay. Wait, wait, right? wait, 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 wait. We're going to come down here and do his coat. I was up in the top. All right, I we're going to come back. We'll yep, leave that. We're going to leave that. It. The eyes just kind of staring at you, going ooh, <laughs> right? It's like All when right. you do the animals, put those white eyes. Yeah, in. <laughs> like that. So we're going to come down here like this and just um, uh, brush strokes. You want the brush strokes going in this direction. See the arrow? And this is the, is this direction, and then follow the direction this way at an angle. This is real important, you guys. Because it, basically, uh, one thing we did notice on his paintings, brush direction and stroke is everything to him. Yeah. Everything. So that's our first... Um, I would say he did that over composition a over, lot. Yeah, that was his <laughs> thing. So if you want it to look like that. Now, now when we get to here, we're going to skip a space and leave that little collar edge. And um, I'm going to just leave a little bit of this red edge here, too. Don't be afraid to leave some of your red background. It'll be pretty. Um, you don't have to do it exactly like his. And if you leave a little tiny bit of the red as an outline, it will be that, pretty. That's, that can be impressive. All right, so I'm going to come under here like this. And uh, just, again, I've got a small brush. I probably could have changed it and done bigger. Um, it's sort of in the olive green tones. I'm going to put a little bit more red with that. Mix that in there. To, I want this to be kind of a duller green. And, of course, it's it depends. You know, colors look different depending on what you put them next to. This is the other thing that's sort of interesting. When you're painting, colors will change depending on what you put them to, next to. All right, so we're going to put this on here like that. So, anyway, back to the museum in Holland. So, they... They had a lot of sketches and stuff. I don't know. Um, I just thought there was going to be a lot more art in there than th what I was. was was what I, was not what I was expecting. But the time we got to that museum, I was so tired I could barely move. And I, I would just say I don't think it's a good idea to do both museums on the same day. I think that this sort of you know it's Tuesday. It you know it must be Paris kind of tour. You know. You don't know where you are anymore, yeah. and you're just wandering around. People well, are shoving like when we images did, in your Like face. when we did St. Pete, Russia, that was uh, yeah, that was that the was same a marathon. Thing. We did the Hermitage, and everybody says, "How was the Hermitage?" Well, let me tell you how that went. Um, <laughs> um, that was my lifelong bucket list goal to see that. To art see museum. the Hermitage. The Hermitage is this um, was originally uh, was a palace originally built by Peter the Great and his, and then later Catherine, and uh, it's expanded upon over the years. And it's an over-the-top, opulent palace that they later became an art museum. Okay, And then uh, during the Cold War, of course, um, th this was not available for Americans uh, to see because, um, uh, you know, we, we weren't talking to those guys. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so you didn't get to see that. So there was, the, you know, that you could see, a, and they had some wonderful, you know, the, some of the best artwork in the world is, is sitting over there in the Hermitage. Okay? So... We, you know, I really wanted to see it and all these talks about it, and I'd watched all these National Geographic shows on it, and, you know, just really was so excited to be able to see that. And um, uh, so here's how the tour went. Which day happened, one. Day one, 6 a.m. in the morning. No, 5.30 a.m., John and Ginger got out of bed <laughs> and struggled to find some clothes and something warm for the day and put on tennis shoes. Because it is Russia. With laces and everything, <laughs> not Crocs, and uh, and and get d bundled up, ready to go outside in this chilly day. Yes. Uh, okay. 
And uh, I'm going to add a little bit of white now to this co color mixture as we're talking. All right. Now I'm going to come along here on this lower part of his, see? Somebody says, what paints are you using? I'm using Holbein. They're practically iridescent, aren't they? They're you nice. You see that? They're nice, right? So anyway, um, so we met, so we didn't have time for breakfast because we met at 6 a.m. in the auditorium of the cruise ship, okay? The theater. The theater. And, auditorium, um, we in high school? Us and 2,000 other people thought they'd do this tour. I swear to God. <laughs> and I was not, surprised. I was shocked. This is a two-day like, marathon. We saved up for this. People say, how are you guys doing cruises? Our academy doesn't do you know, John had a little inheritance from his dad, and, and we th we're using that. We thought, well, this, will, this is what we'll do. And we had really saved our shekels up to even afford this tour. 2,000 other people, this is old and rich, I guess, um, <laughs> were doing this too. And so then the guy says, well... You're going to have to go through customs, and I'll tell you what, everybody in this tour, uh, you can go uh, down two flights of stairs and down a narrow hallway about... Because we got to go to the other end of the uh, ship. other end of the ship, and then out the ship, they got to scan your card. So it took us, what, an hour to get off the ship, fighting down the stairs with people who... You have to walk, no elevator. No elevator. You had to walk down there and yeah. and crowd around, and people were cheating in line, which makes me cr cross. I don't know where they show up, you know. And <laughs> just I have to know, hold her back point, on that you're one. Snarling. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't had back. her coffee. This isn't a pretty sight. <laughs> no, back, back, you know, kind of thing. Get out of my way. I'm here for the Hermitage, and you're screwing up, right? Well, anyway, don't. All right. So here's a little bit of light color now. Here we're coming along here like this. We're Short put strokes. A little bit Little tiny short strokes on an keep angle. Keep the direction right. Keep the direction right. Now we're coming over it like this. And then we're going this way. Little short strokes and a little bit more of this yellow oxide color there like that. And see what I'm doing? This is, I told you, this won't be hard. You guys look at, tr trust me, great time. I'll tell you the story. It won't be hard. So then uh, we had to go through Russian customs. Now that was fun. I personally had fun. Well, they had like 12 lines of... Um, oh, they had 16. 16 lines of customs officers. To, and, to and, serve and, us, and, all of us. And and there, um, that was another 45 minutes getting through that challenging experience, okay? And, you know, I don't know. They hired the same people worldwide to do customs <laughs> things. They're all very stern and serious about it. I mean, they weren't any more stern than the people John I and I ran into. I had mine smiling when I left her. Oh, you flirt with everybody, John. Of course, they're smiling. I, I just didn't. I didn't want a banner. I just wanted the lady to give me my passport back and move me through the line, move along. And so, um, yeah, okay. Um, so one, one thing we did notice, or at least I did notice, and, and we do thank all veterans for their service of our armed forces. But when they got to Russia, and if you look like you were in the military, you got delayed a little bit longer as they were scrutinizing your passport. Oh, yeah, certainly they scrutinized more. And, it, you know, that, and absolutely they did that, too. I'm going to get a little more yellow. And that just slowed here. down the whole procedure. That did. So it took a while. So somebody was look, like, like over 50 in mail. They really looked at yeah. them. They decided everybody, you know, probably, I don't know why that would benefit them to do that, but they did. Um, this is just pure yellow oxide here. I d just pay attention to the colors because it's very interesting. Um, we're not doing much, but I'm just doing a little colored stuff. And then this button is just, we're just going to do, I'm going to swipe my brush off, not rinse it. There's no water on this brush, you guys. And here's my first button here. And I need a little bit more orange here, so I'm going to make a little orange color like this. There, there we go. There we go, like that. There's my button. All right, so this was day one. This we're was day out. one. So we're, we're out. Now it's, um, we're finally out through that. And then there's this long line of buses. Because remember, 2,000 people wanted to take this tour, do the math, and they can hold 44 people on a bus. So eventually we get to, what number was our bus? 20 or 19 or whatever? 16, uh, I think. 16. 16 okay, 16 so then we, got, then we got to the bus, right? And uh, now we got to let this dry before we do much more. Well, no, I can come back over here and do this side. Now we didn't do this. So I need a little orange on this side. This this side had more orange little daubs of stuff. So is this dry enough? Yeah, here we go. We're coming up here with some little orange paint like this down here. These little odd little bits like that. See, I'm telling you, this isn't as fun. 
while we're doing this let's put a little orange up here like that make sure the green is dry before you do that because it um Get mud. Red, red kills green you know so you want to be careful that your your orange paint is um is dry it's a little bit of cad red medium before you get too carried away and i want this little section right in here to be kind of red anyway okay so all right now that was fun so all right so then we get on this bus with 44 other people and then we have these little things around our neck the little microphones like a, what, are, what are they There's doing? no microphone. That would be the receiver the from receiver, the guy talking. The receiver, and then there was like these earphones you put in your head, and then they told you stuff, right? <laughs> put them in your head. Okay. Most people would stick the little ear part <laughs> into the ear, not necessarily plant right, it in the head. I'm just telling you this. I'm exhausted. I haven't gone anywhere. I'm just grateful to find a friggin' bus at this point. <laughs> I'm just fine. And then we're looking out at this bleak landscape. Um, I thought it was a neat town. I mean, Are you, were you on a different bus than me? I don't know. I was just, I was having a different experience than John was. You know how y'all, everybody sees the, you know, John sees the world through rose-colored glasses. I'm going to take a little yellow oxide and white here, you guys. And I'm going to make this off-white color. And now we're going to come happily up screen? here and do his, um, well, a little more white in that. We're going to do his... Um, his neck scarf. This is where he cut off his ear and he's got his bandage. I love this picture. He's this is just some sort of weird little scarf he's got on and he's bandaged. Um, the bandage from his ear being chopped off. Yeah. That that would be the ear. Okay, so we're just gonna do like that and then go back a little good. I bet he wish he had an iPhone. Oh uh, sure. Just everybody wants an iPhone, you know. So anyway, we the first thing we, we do on the tour is adjust our microphone so we can hear the people. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. And uh, uh, and as long as they're talking into their microphone, you can hear them. But if their microphone, their little mic is right here, and if they do this, <laughs> then it's, this was wonderful. And because there was... I mean, you're trying to, it's like pig Latin, trying to put the senses together. It was. You know, I really didn't have a problem with hearing Leo. Okay, fine. I kept, I kept, and the guy was wandering through museums with this Leo, and I kept going, <laughs> waving, Leo! <laughs> Just... Oh. Uh, I want to slap. The girl was pretty good. We we switched. We had two tour operators on the bus, and we split the group up. And we had her. She was pretty good. Leo was a total screw up. Um, I enjoyed Leo. Apparently, um, <laughs> not so much. Well, you know, at this point, I don't know if I cared what he had to say anymore. I was so tired, didn't really care. But I thought paying all this money, I really would like to know what he had to say. Here's a little yellow oxide right in here to this part of the. Kind of like a shadow. Like a shadow part of this uh, scarf here. A little bit of yellow oxide here. Okay, so there's his white thing, right? Yes and yes. Pretty good, yeah? And uh, you're keeping the paint fairly thick here in anybody's one. And now I have to, I'll tell you more about our, our, our fabulous trip that I'm whining about, but, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, there's a way to see something and a way not to see something, and I'm explaining this to you so you can do something else if you get a chance to go. Yes and yes? So, anybody have any questions before we get too carried away, John? Sure. I almost forgot about this tonight. Is this a traceable or a gridded on? This is a traceable. We traced it on at the very beginning if you joined us late. <laughs> you know, I know how you must be really, if you joined us late, then you're really Boy, you're late. really in bad shape because we were late. <laughs> yep, because we were late, so. No, no coffee on the bus. No coffee on the, oh, there's no coffee. There's nothing. <laughs> there's no restrooms on the bus, no coffee no, on the bus. No, there was a pee room. Was there? Yeah. Well, that would have been nice to know. I where were you? Sitting right next to you. It was right there where they always are on all the other ones. Same kind of boss. Uh, huh. Well, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Just, well, that would have been nice. I don't know. I don't okay, know. road trip. We're going back. I didn't know that. All right. But that's a good thing. What to know when you're on trip. Where's the bathrooms? But, all right, we're going to do... And they call them the water closet. All right, we're going to take this white... Or toilet. They use toilet and water now, closet. Now, we want not white eyes, but we want... His whites of his eyes are slightly green. 
Now I know really? that sounds funny. They're white, but they're not really white. They're they're like a green color. Now this is going to be hard to do. I've got to come in here next to this with my little brush here, and um, paint this. Here, let me just take some phthalo and white because it really is. Um, it's his his eyes are green. The hey, whites of his, whites of his eyes are green, you guys. Say. And this is kind of key here. So it's like an mm -hmm. off-white green color. Does that make sense? So Not I'm going to come in here. Yeah, I'm looking at, at this. This was interesting. He um, maybe he didn't feel well. He probably didn't feel well. Um, <laughs> After he cutting cut off here, I would probably ear. think not. Probably just cut off his ear port. Maybe he didn't feel well. All right, so that has a bit of a green tint to it. Okay? And uh, there, that, that, put those in now. Ooh, that looks scary, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It looks okay. Very scary. So now I'm going to rinse the brush. Let's just let's just tackle the hard stuff. Shall we tackle the hard stuff? Let's just get done with his face. Yeah. So let's take a little bit of cad red medium, and um, let's just paint his uh, mouth in. Get that done right there. Just pure cad red medium. We'll just come out here where the outline is, and uh, might put a little bit of white with it. Well, um, a touch. Just a touch. Okay, and uh, and then I'm going to go right into the yellow oxide on my brush and do his pipe right like that. Okay, first this layer, first layer, and then like here on the bowl or something. All right, first layer. Just so I, I know it's there. Okay, so now to get it, so we're going to be just doing like yellow and cad red medium and. Or, and cad red medium for like the oranges and then yellow oxide and white for his facial tones, right? Some variation of that. So if I'm saying this is his face up here, look, notice the direction of the brush strokes. I'm going this way, like I'm going under his eye and I'm going to leave a little bit of that red line right under this eye, right? Like that. Then I'm going to come this way with this. Is that your quarter inch or your three eighths? This is a quarter inch. I thought so very tiny brush and I'm yep. going to come down this way quarter inch angle and um, then if I instead of rinsing I'll just uh, there's more yellow oxide on this side so I'm just going to come around his nose this way again in the shade and again just follow along here these are little there's not that much in the way of brush strokes it's so funny so the darkest part right here is above his mouth like this Okay, we'll come under his nose, and then I'll add some more white to that, the brush, because this is lighter right here. Come around his nose like this, and then you remember you've got to get, get the brush strokes going this way on his jaw, a little bit more yellow oxide, and you're going this way. So try not to, this isn't blending, you guys, this is just odd little brush strokes that are kind of doing that, like something light, right, you've got to, it's all about lights and darks. So right under his chin here, there's a light brush stroke, and right under this pipe. And then it's almost like on his chin. That's got almost a little bit of green in it. Let me just uh, right like that. And then he's got a little bit of orange around here on his chin. It's all kind of... Remember, he was painting in oil, so everything was kind of wet, right? So here we go. Here's his chin. And he did lots of little tiny brush strokes. Now, um, lots of little tiny ones. We're not going to be doing that many. We still have to layer a little bit, but we can get the general idea of this. I don't want you to stress over this. I want you to have fun with it. So we're just going to try to keep changing colors um, between light, almost a white color, and a, and a yellow oxide color. Now, let's see. I don't want to lose this. And uh, come right next to his eyes here. And it's going up like a triangle. Okay. We'll do this part on his face. You'll like it. So anyway, we're on the museum. You know, we're on the first. So the first stop is this really cool um, house by this. Um, the Romanovs were the people in charge of Russia before c uh, communists took over. The Romanovs. And their best friends lived in this palace. And they were actually richer than the king and queen the czar. They're all friends. And they had photographs of them from the 20s. These people were gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Like something out of GQ magazine, like models. They were all. And the extravagance and the luxury was extraordinary. 
I mean, it was extraordinary how these people, how these guys lived. Um, wasn't it, John? I mean, you're oh, looking at that. It was yeah. unbelievable. And so that was really interesting. The thing is, and all of that stuff's interesting. They they counted how many, the tours all, we all had a certain time we had to be at each place because there were so many people in the world that wanted to see these places that they kept them packed from, from morning to night and it was standing room only and you could barely walk a few steps ahead and the guide was talking to you and there's another guide from another tour in front of you. And remember, 2,000 people on our tour wanted to see all this stuff. So it was hot and cramped in there. Was wasn't it? It was really hot. I really of... didn't have that same experience. I, I feel like we were on a oh, different. We were on different tours. <laughs> uh, I stayed in the back. Though, see, I stayed way back. You were up there trying to keep up with them. I was in the back taking pictures. Yeah, John was in the back taking pictures. I was trying to hear what the guy had to say. I didn't up care. With... Well, <laughs> I wanted I, that pictures. was my mistake. I cared what he, what he wanted. All right. So the lightest colors on his nose, you guys. Is hey, we'd check. like to thank uh, Eric for the donation. He said, "Glad you're back. Missed you." Oh, thank you, you Eric. Eric, and uh, thank you very much. Appreciate that very much. We very much appreciate this, and we appreciate the fact that I was looking at our YouTube channel today, uh, and very nicely, my daughter Cinnamon kind of got on there uh, on, on the computer on her at her house, and she, we have disappeared. We are we literally not seen anymore on YouTube. We are like in a dark hole. YouTube is not showing us to anybody. We do not show up against suggested videos by anybody. This channel has literally disappeared. And apparently the algorithm, which is this computer that decides what to show people, um, we're shown next to people that are making pizza. <laughs> yeah, we I show up on cooking not. shows. My cooking shows, just honest to God. So, you know, if you love us at all, we appreciate the donations. Make sure you at least put us in a playlist. Uh, share us if you don't mind. Share us if you don't mind because... <laughs> You know, we're trying. You know, we're sitting here at seventy-five thousand, which we love. The seventy-five thousand we have. Don't get us wrong there, but we look at the other artists, and they're 100, 200, 300, 500, and we go, we really think we have a good show. We think we do too, and and it was very, it was very um, disheartening. Disheartening to Ooh, just good sit word. there and. And, and Cinnamon says, well, don't you see why you're not being shown? I, I said, well, what do you mean we're not being shown? I don't understand all this stuff. John and I barely, you know, we're not, we're technical. We're busy but, doing our own stuff you know, on the, we're on just, the other we're website. Just, you know, we're just busy and we're doing the best we can. And So she gave some tips. She gave us some, you know, just, you know. So that's why we had a different intro. Introduction. Apparently, apparently <laughs> the first sentence you say makes a difference. Ah. Oh. So Google started, or YouTube is starting to listen to the words that's being said. As the first two to three sentences that come out of your mouth, that's what they base the whole show on. Yep. And so they basically, you know, me, I was just shooting the shit when we first start. Right? <laughs> you can't say that word. Beep. <laughs> just. Um, really? I did. I said it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did. I Sam said it. wasn't quick on that button. I'm just doing a little... Uh, well, see, the whole problem is ginger and cook. Your ginger's a spice and cooking's a show. So, we, you know, we cook with ginger. Yeah, so... Um, anyway, it was... Um, if I add yeah. a little purple, which I put out here, take a little cad red medium and you add a tiny bit of purple to it, you get a brown color. Did you know that? Who has my skull? Look at that. You get a little brown color. So if I want a little bit of a shadow right here on the side of his face... It looks more like red right than up brown. Here. That's a, well, it's brown. <laughs> Don't argue. Just yes, ma'am. Put a little blue in there. Well, I could do and That's purple. Oh, well, sorry. I'm going for... Well, I, no, I'm not. Never mind. Now you've thrown <coughs> off. You've I'm thrown sorry. me off. Just... It, it would have dried brown, but who are you? Just <laughs> go away. <laughs> Just. Okay. I'm leaving. Thanks, everybody. Good night. She's on her own. <laughs> Sit down here. Be quiet. Yeah. Behave yourself. All right, all right. Well, we, that needs to be a little browner right there. There's a little bit of strokes right here, and then under his chin here, like that. Okay, but we're we're getting there, yeah. It's yes and fun, yes. Kind of fun, right? Yes and yes. We're get, kind of getting there, and we want um, a little bit of white paint under here. This is interesting with his eyes here. A little bit of white paint right here, like that, and. Um, just a little bit of white paint coming down here on his nose, up here like this, down here like this, and then here's the red. That there was some really nice 
almost a, a little magenta. That's kind of dark color here. Um, you can put paint on your brush and then wipe it off your brush. You still have a lot of paint on there. You, you want to be careful when you're doing this that um, you have the um, just the tiniest bit of ma amount of paint on your paintbrush, yeah? Oh, we had a donation come in through PayPal from Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Oh, really appreciate that. Thank you very much, Andrew. We appreciate it very much. I really, that makes it, it really made a lovely difference. Thank you. And um, we had another one come in from Phyllis. Welcome back, Ginger and John. Thank you. So anyway, back to the, the this Oh, I'm tour. sorry, I keep interrupting you. It's all right. No, no, I appreciate it. <laughs> I want to know these things, right? I'm going to go, I've got a little of this color now. I want to, um, just that little dark, dark color. I wanted to just, well, let's see, let's try a little orange. Um... Want a little bit more orange on this button, and uh, there we go. A little bit more orange on this button. There you go. Okay, so there's some red coming down here like that. All right. So now, while this paint is drying on his face, yeah, we've got enough on his face. We can go back and add some more colors to his face for sure. But um, like, for instance, one of the things we want to do is like, um, like sort of a if you make an orange color and add white to that you get, a, it's an interesting color. And then right above his eye here, above that, like that, you want this to go up like an arch in here too. You want something light right there. It's almost like a peach color that's coming here. You wouldn't think there were all these colors in his face, but there are. And that's what makes it so interesting. Uh, this is a good exercise and I would strongly suggest you you know, print out his picture too, because when you see the little brush strokes that he did, I think that's what makes his painting so interesting is that you see the, the all these little brush strokes and it's a very interesting way. It might be sort of fun for you, you know, um, if you've done this, might be a good challenge is to then do this portrait and then take kind of a selfie of yourself kind of at this angle and print it out in black and white and trace it on and try to do it like he did. Just do this crazy selfie with all these funny colors and brush strokes. It might be do your own Van Gogh selfie after you try this one. What do you think? I love it. Might that be idea. the challenge for the um and I it love doesn't it. just and we'll all have fun. Maybe we'll all do it. I'll do one too and I'll show it on Facebook, right? In our Facebook club, Ginger Cook Acrylic Pick Painting Club on Facebook. Let's do that, you guys. Let's make that our our challenge. Uh, selfie maybe, challenge. Maybe if Eric's still on there. Eric, put that together, will you, buddy? Uh, Eric, can you make that work for us? <laughs> can, can you handle that for can us? Can you ha handle that? I think that's a great challenge. I like that. Take you know, it. because, I mean, kind of learn how he did this because it's clever. Yeah? Yes and yes? Yes and yes. And, Always uh, yes and, and yes. And if Alicia's watching, you know, uh, you know, I, I know hers will be just fabulous, but don't don't worry. We're just, we want it. This will be fun. Okay? We want to keep it impressionistic, loose little tiny brush strokes like this you know what i mean that just little funny bits of color it'll, it'll be fun can you make it kind of like this all right so now um let's get the background painted while this is drying yeah okay and i'm going to change brushes for that and get a little bit bigger angle brush this is a ruby satin silver um well, one half inch angle and, what, do you, what do you want to work on and now? i want red paint you must be working on the background. I'm going to work on the background. And I want you know, like your naphthal crimson. And I saw that the other day and I had it a, a paint. I had that. Um, what's this one? That's a fluid. Uh, that's, there's some fluid acrylics. I think I'm just going to use fluid, fluid acrylics because I can't find my, op, uh, my, my tube of red is not open. So I can use it. I just need some red for the background. It doesn't have to be real thick paint, you guys. Uh, it's in a brand new tube, John, a small brand new tube. This is brand new tube. This hasn't been opened either. I guess I might as well get the one open I want. Where? I think it's over here. Move the color in this, over in this mess. So we'll, yeah, that one. Naphthal crimson is what I want for this. I want naphthal crimson over Excuse here. Excuse me, this. walking in front of the camera. Doug You're never walking. supposed to do He's that, you know. We, well, we would have had this open. All right, this is the, the fluid acrylics. And... Um, uh, you have to shake them up real well. Let's just, we'll compare. But what we want is a, no, no water on the brush. And now, oh, this works pretty good, you guys. 
uh, but you can use regular Naphtal crimson paint. Now look here. We're going to come about eye level here and make all this red. See that? There, and that's just right over the orange. That's cool. Um, and uh, let's make this dark red here. Dark red here. There we go. Alright, so this is not quite a straight line. It was sort of a cattywampus line. Does that make sense? He just, uh, just so this sort of curved and then... He just kind of throws it up there. Yeah, he just, it, he had fun with this. You know, this was all, this is almost cartoony. You know what I mean, in a way? Not really, but kind of. It's all right. loosey-goosey. But, but you can see that, you can see, can't you, the red paint, right? I mean, you can see that. that yeah, you we can, can see, see the, the red. You can see the contrast, yeah? Yep. And um, and then on his mouth, I'm going to take a little bit of that red and put a little bit on his mouth right here. This front part right here, I'm going to say, is a little bit darker. There. Put that on his mouth. Now, the upper part of this just, just is a very, very light orange, okay? So this is a bright orange up here. So cad, cad red medium and cad yellow medium, you know, and then all this up here is a bright color like this and uh, and you again kind of small brush strokes and don't worry about getting the exact same color when you make this orange it was sort of pretty about this with the fact that it wasn't that here's a little cad red medium but I want a little more, more yellow and then I'm going to go ahead and this is my next coat of paint up here like this and it's a little bit redder um, it, all the brush strokes on his are up and down, and he goes back and then with some lighter yellow up here on top like this, and then everything else is more in this orange color. Uh, so mostly orange. So it's definitely, um, this was an expensive painting for him. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. I want to go inside where the hat is a little bit because the hat has to overlap. And I'll tell you about the Hermitage while this is drying. Okay, so that, that wasn't hard, yeah? Everybody's already kind of thinking that's cool, yes? All right, so because John feels we should use brown paint. <laughs> I um, just suggested it. I'm fine, 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 fine. I'll get out some brown. We'll work on the pipe while that's dry, drying, yeah? And that's the brown just, is burnt umber? Um, burnt sienna. Oh, really? Yeah, burnt sienna. Hmm. So you guys are with me on the bus right back at the Hermitage. All right, so we're at this one palace, and it was really cool because it, it was all these floors, which apparently they didn't have elevators in those days either, lots of climbing <laughs> up and down stairs and following all these people, and it was hot. And it, it was interesting. I, they still had my interest at this point. These people were rich. You just can't imagine how rich they were. It was extraordinary and um, beautiful stuff that they had. So anyway, we're looking at all that, and... Um, they had a life-size uh, models in one room down at the cellar because this is the house where they killed Rasputin, and you got to read the history of that. He was this sort of uh, <laughs> holy man that had come out of Siberia that um, the, the Tsar's only son had that disease where your blood doesn't clot. Uh, hypo... Hemophilia, something. Some, yeah. Huh? I don't know. It's, nec it's not necrophilia. It's a hyper. It's, anyway, it's the one. <laughs> it's the one where the blood doesn't clot. Doesn't clot. And he was, um, you know, he was really sick all the time. And and this guy was really a mystic, and he helped him. And he was this crazy old hippie-looking guy, and the, um, he had great influence with the Tsarina, uh, which is the wife of the Tsar. That's what they call him. And uh, you know, I mean, she was making her kid feel better. So you know, who, what's not to like, right? And the people felt he had and far too much, and he was sort of a visionary and stuff. And um, anyway, the story of how he died, you should, you should Google that, how they killed him. They killed him, and they had a picture. They had a life-size model of him, and they invited him over for, like, an evening, uh, this, the, these friends of the Tsar. And, you know, and he knew that they were going to try and kill him, and he went anyway. And um, they shot him. They tried to poison him. They first. tried to poison him first, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. They couldn't kill him. They had all the poison in the world, and then they then they shot him, and then he, they thought he, they were going to go do something with the body. He crawled out of the house and ended up in a canal. He actually drowned. 
was it was amazing. It was a very hard person to kill. So back to the burnt sienna on the pipe. Here we go. Um, it's this brown color on the bowl of the pipe. So that was interesting because they showed that. You know that they had a life-size model of that, and you could kind of see what the people look like. And they were, like I say, that this family of entitled people that win. They were, you know, had the nicest. They were of everything. over the edge. They were over the edge, over the top. They lived in this magic, mass, wonderful luxury, and they were beautiful, really pretty. They just, you know, like something out of a fashion magazine. They were so pretty. All right, we want a couple deals going this way on the pipe. And then we'll take the brown, maybe with a little blue in it, ultramarine blue in it. And that's going to be a little bit darker here. See, I'm going to do the pipe thing here just with the brush like that. There. Come under here like this. And I want to make sure that I have the pipe is round. I want to make sure I have this round here. And um, the top of this is a little bit lighter. There's the round bowl of the pipe. Here's the yellow. Here's a little bit of yellow coming out of his mouth. And then we'll outline that later. Okay, there's the pipe, yeah. And uh, then I can take a little bit of this orange. This is dried now. Put a little bit of orange back here. Um, all right, so far so good. Okay, so thalo blue. So we saw that, and then... We're, oh, then we went, and um, they, they, we parked the bus, and then we went and we did a, um, uh, this is phthalo blue, you guys, very nice light blue. You could put a touch of magenta in it if you wanted to, to gray it just slightly, um, like up here like this, and it's all the brush strokes are going this way, up and down, like this. See how the blue is the complement of uh, orange, you know, this light blue. So see how pretty that is? And uh, there's not a lot of it. This is, honestly, this is pretty pretty interesting. I've got a little bit of this blue color right down here on the collar, too. Okay. Where? Right down here. Oh, I see. Just, you know, every once in a while you've got to see where else did he have it. All right, so then he had... The Pierce Dosney purple and a little ultramarine blue. Let's do that. So then we're coming up here like this using the angle and not really just some of this orange shows through here. And we're just now this was fun. This came around here a little tiny line, right? Thin line, thick and thin lines. That's the trick. And um, up here like that, there's the top of his hat. Now so this is thalo blue and purple, yeah. And then what we're going to do is, because it looks black, but it isn't. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do these little dark marks. And we got to reload each time because it, because the purple is, the, the light blue is wet. And if you don't, um, you'll start mixing. But here we go like this. little, And then this, these little brush strokes go out this way down like that and then here's this is coming down this way and just a little purple ultramarine blue and then up this way I think my orange is dry these are these little thick and thin with the with the little lines some of them are farther apart than others watch the spacing on these sometimes when you're doing something you can just watch the spacing and the angle Okay, so want to just these are going it's a fuzzy out hat. this way. This was a <clears throat> little kind of a furry, funny, weird hat. Wasn't he a character? Okay, and then closer to his head, um, this is almost a solid line here, as opposed to those little tiny brush strokes. And then when we got right up here, there this way. All right, so then we're coming up like this, like this, out from the center. Like this, and these are longer now. We are having a giveaway a night. We've got three seven-day memberships and three one-credit downloadables. Thank oh, you for the donation, folks. Oh, that's so awesome! <clears throat> yeah. So, all right. So, and incidentally, when you guys win your downloadables and your lessons, you have uh, there. You know, you can't. Thirty days. Thirty days to use them. Thirty days to cash them in. To cash them in. Okay. 
All right, can't now keep I'm going to take some white paint and um, a little bit of magenta and purple and a purple color. So now I've got this pretty, and I want to come up here like this in here because, you know, purple and um, uh, yellow are complements. I mean, this, he was a genius with color. And this is all going kind of every which way like that, coming down out of the center, these light ones like this, like that. Here's the purple. Isn't that kind of cool? And then just go into your white paint, and while it's still wet, and do this, some smaller little brush strokes. Kind of, and if you want to take some time and really see the direction he did them, I'm just kind of, do, do them like that and this is what these little angle brushes are best for and I want to thank the brush guys I'm going to give them a thing they don't pay us to say anything like this but um, they the reason John and I don't have any big sponsors or anything like that but they're I do appreciate the fact that there are people that value all of us as artists that we they realize that we're, we could buy our products anywhere. I mean, if you're buying a ruby satin silver brush, well, you could buy it at any one of the online uh, big stores. But the brushguys.com, if you use my name, Ginger Cook, they will give you 5% off in the coupon code, use my name, Ginger Cook, all one word. You can get 5% off on any of the brushes, not just on my teacher's page, but cinnamons. It doesn't matter what, any brush you find there, doesn't have to be even a silver brush. They give you 5% off. I appreciate And that's year-round, not just when somebody feels like having a brush sale. They give you these. And they, and I mention them because they mail around the world. It's usually $25, it was, to, to get, get it mailed pretty much anywhere um, that you live. And a lot of these other companies, you know, we, we see this in Facebook a lot. That Well, someone will mention, Judy's really good about, um, guitar is really good about letting people know, a little blue in this, letting people know when... Um, uh, there's some sales, but a lot of times it's Hobby Lobby or these American companies. And if you happen to be living in Holland or England or someplace, you don't have access to that. But uh, and you may not have access or even. Um, uh, let me see. I'm just okay. So I'm coming down here, and I'm going to do something real dark here. This was almost black. I think this. We're going to come down here like this next to here, and then up like this. Just using purple. You could use black brown. I could put a little brown with the purple and make this almost a darker color. This is his hair coming up here like this, kind of sweeping up like this. There's his hair, okay? Kind of, and he had it kind of dark coming this way. All right, so um, anyway, I mean, that's, uh, I appreciate them. So, uh, and that's where we get our brushes, uh, thebrushguys.com. Uh, simply because we, again we, we very much appreciate the fact that they um, appreciate all of us as artists and they're giving us a break and they recognize that again that you have influence you have buying, buying power influence alright now we'll come back with a little bit of dark up here a little just pure purple come back up here and do a few little dark ones in the center of this you know you can always come back and add a few more little dark lines but that's pretty cute on his hat. Yes and yes. So all, all, all things pretty good. Yeah. Now, um, uh, let's see. We can then take a dark. Well, I'm still letting all this dry on the face. Let's take some dark purple and blue. And let's do a few little outlines. Yeah. Let's outline some stuff. You could use black. You could use a black Sharpie if you wanted to on this for sure. We're going to come around here like this and outline a few things. So back to the tour. Then we did a boat a boat trip through the canals. St. Petersburg has all these gorgeous canals that they built, you know, years ago. And um, they've actually had to fill some in. They've had so many of them. And they've got these that's one thing we really enjoyed was the canal trips you can really see what the buildings look like and what the city's like from the inside of this these going down these canals and then john got some great pictures i want you to expect some fabulous new um uh lessons um 
Now his buttonhole just kind of did this. It's oh, wait keep, a minute. Right? You're... Like that, okay? There's his buttonhole. Oh, you outline that whole area, see? Let me just zoom back out. You're going to be flying all over the place again. I'm just, I'm just kind of, you know, just doing an outline. Thick and thin with the outline, you guys. This was something I learned in art school years and years ago. Whenever you're outlining everything, always do thin lines and thick lines. Don't just do one thick line or one thin line. Vary the lines, right? Like right next to his face right here, it's thin. Right next to his chin, coming down here like that, that's a thin line. And there isn't one here. On this side of his jaw, he didn't do one. So what we do have an outline on the pipe. Um, like that. We have an outline on the pipe. And, um, and please notice how I'm holding the brush. The, the paints, I'm, I've got it right up here and I'm using just the tip. And I'm just twisting it. Put something dark right there. And I'm, if my brush is coming apart like that, I'll squeeze it and reshape it and then reload it with paint. But um, not wash it off. Don't wash no it water. off. No <clears> water. There, and then I'm coming under the bowl like that. So this comes into his mouth like that. There, that's pretty good, huh? It's a pretty good uh, outline. And uh, I'm just got his. Okay, so that's um. And he had that pipe. It's a sort of a green color at the stem. A dark green color. Let's make that color. Sort of a dark green color, like, like that. Right at the stem where it was coming out of his mouth, like this. Right there. This was dark right here. See, so, so that that really looks like that the pipes. And I want to come up here on the side here and outline this and make sure that this is. Um, I have his shoulder up there like that. Like it's being asked, was this considered impressionism or yeah. pointillism? This is impressionism. This Pointal is, is just... Pointillism is little dots. This is impressionism. Isn't. Yeah, they're... And, and, um, and you won't find Ginger doing pointillism. That's not my thing. So, um, <laughs> not even But close. this this was. And, and so what you want to sit there and say is, okay, so I've outlined that, and I'm going to go get some... rinse. I'm going to rinse the brush now, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to outline some red stuff now. I'm going to use that fluid red. That just naphthal crimson, and I'm going to hold my brush up, and I'm going to try to see if I can't get the um, the eyeballs. Oh, see now, look what happened there. See, um, I rinsed the brush, and uh, I had too much water in it, and didn't wipe it off. So now it's all right. It's, it, this is why we let all this stuff dry before you go do it. There we go. Now here we go. And then this came down here on this side around his eye like that. And he had a little bit of a red bit right there. Came down further. Same over here. He had a little bit of red right here in the corner of his eye. And uh, we've got... Really sad, this, sad this, face. This line is at this angle. This one's coming up here like this. <clears throat> um, okay, then I want to come down here this way and then back this way. Okay, so, all right, that's pretty good. You don't want to get too crazy. And then while that's drying... I'll come down here and do his nose again, this red in his nose, right here in this corner of this nostril, and over here it was red. Okay. And now to get this, now I'll just take some yellow oxide, it's got some red on it, and I want to make sure that this is, this is this side of his nose. This nostril here is, the nostril on the right is a little darker. Okay. And his nose hooks around like this, just a little darker right there. Okay, so I mean, I don't want to get too crazy on you, right? Because I mean, you could sit there and play with this all day long. But here, what we know, we want a little bit of yellow oxide and white. This was the lighter part of his nose, and he had this little hump in his nose, right here. Okay, which is interesting. And um, 
here and around here in his nostrils like that. So you got his nose there. I think that's pretty good. And this is white light right here. Um, this was a very light right here on this side of his cheek. You came up under his eye like this. And this side of his eye, now this was interesting, this side of his eye was a little lighter. And um, the same here. I'm going to lighten that up just a bit. And it was a little bit lighter <coughs> here. Now that we've had a layer of paint to go on, I can add the next layer of white, kind of off-white on his face, right? And this is what will show up. So anyway, we did the boat ride, and then we went and had lunch uh, with um, this wonderful, <coughs> very nice lunch, and this kind of, they closed the restaurant for these tour groups. And um, there was some, um, you know, you get 44 women on a bus, and then you have two buses there, so you've got... Half the, half the group is female. There's two tours. There's at least 45 women trying to oh, use easily. one restroom for lunch. Uh, that was an experience, right? So then yep. they said, well, they felt bad about that. So then they said, oh, don't worry. What we'll do is we'll, um, here's what we'll do. We'll, um, um, we'll, um, you can use the restroom in the Hermitage. <laughs> Which is that is, the one you had to have money for? Did you have not, to have money for Hermitage. that one? Not that one. No. no, you didn't have to have money for the restaurant for, for there. But um, that was interesting. Oh, we take a little bit of light around his mouth now. So, so um, you had to go down the stairs. I, I hate to keep mentioning these things. But you had to go down the stairs to the Hermitage to use the restrooms and the coat room. And then you had to climb back up. And that was just the first of all the stairs we climbed in that place. Uh, <laughs> just saying, right? A little bit light under his mouth here, like that. See, this is where you kind of are doing all this light stuff, right? Um, um, let's see, what else What I, could I tell you about it? Um, I'm going to come back under here and some break up some of this fur with the hat, like this. Okay. I think we've, um, I think we did pretty well. I'm going to take a little bit of brown paint here, like this, outside of his nose. Oh, that's a burnt sienna. And just outline his nose right here. And then come around here like this. There you go. So I've got his nose outlined. Um, I thought it was, uh, here's a little line right here on his mouth. This will be the brown on his face that John was feeling needed to be brown. I, oh, fine, John. Okay, here's the outline here of the... Um, uh, on the a bandage, it wasn't a dark brown. It was just it was a dark brown, not a. Um, uh, dark, you know, blue or black. Everything else was outlined here. Like for instance, this was a darker purple blue color under here, like this. Got this kind of outline. So we then we went to the Hermitage, and I think we spent what. About two hours, two, three, two, two, three hours in there walking around. Yeah, it was a good two. It was a good two, and Probably it was two and a half, it was it was just again it was another one of those deals that it was a marathon. There, it was a marathon of people that was just standing room only in the place, and it's huge, and you couldn't. We just went from room to room like we and you couldn't stop and look at the paintings because you just get shuffling along like people on a bus and. Um, we were at a bus. <laughs> <laughs> but the bus wasn't going through the museum, but it kind of was. We were all together. It was, and, and um, I got to tell, tell you that that was a little, um, I would have preferred something else, I, you know, and, but I don't know what you could do. This was off season, too. It gets worse in the summer. Phyllis would like to know, would titanium buff be a good choice for the light parts? Uh, Phyllis, but titanium buff would be bad, and you could still add some white to it. I think you could certainly use that color, because again, you again, we're not doing. I'm not, you know, I'm not going over with layer after layer of exactly like he did, because he had all these little tiny brush strokes. But I want you to see kind of what we're doing here. Um, you know, you want the lights and the dark shadows. Um, you want the eyes. I'm going to just um, make sure that you've got the eyes and. There's, we haven't put the dark pupils in the eyes yet mm. either, which we're going to do purple, and we're going to I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. I'm going to do the purple, purple in the eyes right here, right like that. The dark dots in the eyes. This would be big, easier, bigger, right? He didn't try to do it this little, and then he's got um, 
he's outlined his um, his green part of his eyes with a darker green paint. There, okay. But um, okay, we're gonna do our first drawing. All right, first drawing, you guys. This is exciting. Hoot 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 hoot. Here we go. We've got 82 entries so far. First one will be downloadable. What's a downloadable lesson, John? A downloadable lesson, you guys, is a um, uh, lesson that you can then either watch right there on the computer without downloading it to your computer. You don't have to. It's yours. You own it forever. But you can download it to your computer, and you don't need an Internet um, to watch it. Then it's on your computer, and it's like in your library of, of videos that you own for tutorials. And all our tutorials, and particularly the ones we put there from our academy, are sometimes two, two to four hours long. Some of them are six. They are step-by-step um, -step guided tutorials, really packed full of information. And you can watch those again and again. And we always tell you, watch the video first. And you then, need to watch the video and, with Ginger. And, and sometimes, particularly in some of our, uh, some of the videos we do, I might uh, show you. For instance, here's a video that's coming up uh, for our academy uh, fairly soon, um, and it's this fish. Can you guys see our fish, our lionfish? Oh, I love that. That's our lionfish, you know. And that's that's Larry. That's Larry the lionfish. He kind of goes with them with our grouper. Remember we that did was before, George and that'll grouper. be in our art academy. This is a great lesson to watch um, and watch it first and then paint it in, right? Because I've got some tricky things that I do with that. But that's coming up, so we have a new, new lesson on our video lesson library. All right, so a uh, good yes and yes. Um, do you have a drawing there, John? I do. Did I spell that right? Gasdorf. <clears throat> I will mutilate this name. I apologize at this time. Okay. Jamie Kasdorf. Jamie Downloadable lesson. Kasdorf. Congratulations, Jamie. Now, we are using a new program for doing the random numbers. It's from random.org. And you go, why do we change? Well, random.org uses sound as the seed number instead of a computer generating it. So, so it's picking up sound in the area. Well, I don't understand. Now you've really confused me. What does that do? <clears throat> it's taking the sound and generates a number out of the sound instead of having the computer generate its own number. It's more random than random can be. It's the randomness of random you can be. And you know how random this was? So this person was the first entry of the evening. No kidding. No kidding. That is random. That's very random. So we're very excited about using random.org for your random number generator. That's way cool, John. Well, we're always on the leading edge of things, aren't we? Well, you know, it, it was, you know... It's we try to be ask, the fairest at, we can rather be. Rather than ask you-know-who, she who cannot be named it will start talking to us, right? Oh, yeah. She, oh, yeah. It'll start talking up a storm. So just so we can, can't mention her. No. I feel like I lost the whites of my eyes here. Next one will be a seven-day downloadable. Seven-day seven day download. That's funny. <laughs> What's the seven-day academy? Yeah, seven-day academy. 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 So, so if you're new to our channel, and you may be, because like we're we're trying to figure out how to be seen, but um, <laughs> we have no idea. Uh, if you're new to, like I say, if you're new to our channel, there's a little bit of green to this right here under his mouth. Interesting how he did this light under his mouth. Okay, who's that one? Well, John? see, it's, it's reflected from the um, coat. Yeah. Coming up here, it's a little bit of light right here. So, Jamie, we will send you an email after the show on what to do. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now, weren't you guys surprised how this how this portrait came together? I mean, really? Aren't you guys kind of surprised? Well, like, no, it's you. We, we really well, expect I mean, nothing less. Well, I know, but still. <laughs> still, I'm, su I'm always surprised. You know, come together because... I'm going to do a little bit of an outline on his face right here. A little bit of red outline like this. Did he have that? Yeah, he did actually. Oh, okay. And um, particularly here, it's a little bit darker here under his chin. He really right looks there. so sad in this painting. Well, he is kind of sad. He kind of is here. You know, life is, you know, you're in a bad place at the start. You're cutting off body parts, right? 
Well, yeah, I would think so. You're not in a good place. I guess that's what you're just not in a good place. Oh, Daisy, wait a minute. Daisy had a question. Mm hmm. Donna would like to know can you do more portrait tutorials? I have to find Daisy's question. Um, so can somebody ask Daisy's question again? John, can, can we please see another close up on the iPad? Yeah, let me show you. Sure, let me just show you the iPad, okay? Can you see it? Now, well, let me just show yeah. you. Can I blow up the eye? Can I show you? Oh, look you? at that, yeah. Can you see the eye? Do you I see can. The, do you see the yellow fleck in here, too? Yeah. Do you see that bit of yellow fleck, which I didn't do? Yeah. Right there. Do you see how he did the eye? Let me show you this one. Look at that. I mean, can you guys see that? See the see the red here? And then the there's this corner. See how there's this corner right here, like that, where it's coming in here, like a triangle? And the eye isn't completely round either, by the way. And he's got these light, he did a light yellow fleck in each eye. And you really can't see that till you blow it up. And um, so we still have it. I, I should put the light fleck in there. Um, well, I'm, I just think that I can't wait to see the selfies. Now you've seen how we're doing this. Um, I think that the selfie challenge is a great one. And, um, and again, if you're not a member, it's free to be, be a member of our Ginger Cook uh, Facebook club. Here's the light yellow in his eye. Instead of white, he did yellow up here in the corner. There you go. Right like that. Neat, huh? Oh, Daisy wants to understand the tradition of doing self-portraits that, you know, all artists seem to do that. Um, did you, did, did, who won the seven days? Oh, I haven't done that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm answering questions. People are asking questions. Um, yeah, you know, that's an interesting thing. Um, by the time Van Gogh came around, there were you could get to, you know people were taking portraits of themselves with photography back in the eighteen sixties. All right, Van Gogh was in the lived around you know in the late nineteen mm -hmm. late eighteen hundreds. So cameras had been around at least fifty years before he, you know, was painting. But um, you know, it was still photography was still even today. If you go out and get a professional photographer that's expensive well the artist you know artists you know art schools encouraged uh you know self-portraits because you could always just look in the mirror you, you always had a model you know and so uh, lots of artists did that you know really lots of artists did that and their bread and butter often was doing portraits that was their you know people hired them to paint their kids or mary cassette was constantly painting women and their children um this was something you could make some serious money on and um, you had to be able to do it, and so you, you know you you're, you were always there. Your face was always there. So you and Van Gogh did so many portraits of himself, which was so interesting to me. All right, so he wanted to show that he was doing this pipe thing. So I'm going to show you what he did next. <laughs> uh, did you win? Did you draw us a winner? I am going to draw a winner right now. <clears throat> so you go ahead and do whatever it is, and I'm, I'm drawing a winner. <clears throat> I'm painting a winner in. Painting winter in. Scrolling through the list. Now what he did was he took all the paint off his brush and came around here like this. This is the dry brushing this on. He just whips up. I don't know. This is so funny to me. His little smoky and these little things are curling around here like this. And Oh, look at this. this is adorable. Here's the little light coming out of his pipe. Adorable. You're so silly. Little tiny brush strokes here to indicate little wiggly, smoky things. And everything swirling around in a circle. And then up here, now it changes, and he went into the yellows. Oh, you crazy man, you. He went into the yellows up here. And this went this way, and all the way up here like this, into the sky with the yellow, and a little bit of the yellow in here. <clears throat> a little bit of the yellow. Okay, I have a Sean Wilson. Sean Wilson, awesome. Winner of the Seven Day Academy membership. We will contact you after the show. Awesome, congratulations. You know, in our academy right now, we have over 400 tutorials. Way too many. And people, I've had people say, well, I can't keep up. You were never intended to keep up. You were intended to be interested. Find something that's interesting and paint that at your leisure. 
We it's it's it's, it's not it's, a marathon. It's not a marathon. It's it's just it's not every, a contest. It's not a contest to see what you can paint or how well you can paint or any of that. It's if you were to just watch the videos and never paint anything, you would learn so much because we te you know we we give you so much information on so many different subjects. On YouTube, we do a lot of flowers. We do the old dead guys, old EGs like Van Gogh, but um, uh. I'm going to make this side of his face just a little bit darker with some burnt sienna and um, yellow oxide. Okay, I want this side just a bit darker. All right, we've got another seven-day coming, our downloadable lesson. There we go. Um, we do. We do. Awesome. Now, we're getting, some of these are being donated from Sharon Poof. Oh, this was so lovely. Sharon is one of our Academy members, and she's one of, uh, and she uh, was so kind of her to donate these uh, downloadable lessons. So thank you very much, Sharon, for that. And um, oh, I see some green here. Ah, as we're painting along and dissing, he's got on his. Oh, look at this. He's got some green right here. And right here on his scarf. Look at that. Isn't I just missed that before. Isn't that pretty? So as we're doing it, you know, as long as we're doing didn't you think this would take a lot longer than it did? When well, you let's saw see, this? how long has it been taking us? Hour oh. and a half. I mean, didn't you think this would be I just, thought this would be like a four hour lesson. I mean and, and that's why I think we all can do selfies. We'll just do it Absolutely. in this style, right? Eight by ten. A little eight by ten selfish, right? Selfies, right? And again, our acrylic painting club is um, acrylic dry darker, so I'm like. Uh, Eric, hey Eric, I see you're back there again. Did you uh, hear that we'd like you to head up this selfie? The, 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 you're going to do it the in the style selfie. of Van Gogh for the paint for our, our challenge for the for um, the month of uh, what? July. Jul well, I mean, we'll just we have till the end of July to do end it. End of July to do it. So you're not. I don't want anybody to feel rushed, right? Yeah, no rush. No rush, no rush in here. Right? No rush on our part. But we think nope. that take some time and do that, right? Here's some yellow oxide. I'm just sitting here doing a little bit of um, painting here on his... Uh, Debbie Williams, come on down. You're the big winner of a one-credit downloadable lesson. Awesome. Congratulations, Debbie. This is great. And uh, I'm going to lighten this up again, put some light on here. Here we go with our next. This is sort of a light green color. These are final little bits of dots of little odd little bits on the coat. And tonight's question I asked, do you prefer realism or impressionism? Yeah, what do people prefer, John? Well, you know, we're going to find that out right now, right before your very eyes. And... Um, If you were not one of the fabulous winners that got to that have won something so far in our, we, we, we appreciate the fact you guys have hung in there with us live. We do these contests for our live audience. We appreciate the fact that we have a live audience. <laughs> As and, opposed to the dead audience, yeah. yeah. That's just not very interactive that way. <laughs> no. Can't get anything out of them. No, no. So um, then that, thus we do the contest. But if for some reason you didn't win, if you'll join us next Monday night at that's, that's, uh at, at the same time, 7.30 Central Time. Well, 7.30-ish. <laughs> we're, we're, again, we'll try not to sleep through the show. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, felt so bad oh, about that's that. that's so funny. You know, I'm just, you can see I'm just playing with the um, the colors here. I, 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 it turned out that I was able to do most of this with a brush, right? After we got him trace on, and this, there we go. I'm just kind of making sure we have the... He seems to be darker under here on the button. Go to the button. Well, see how button. I forced you to answer either one or the other, re re realism or impressionism. Impressionism won out by just a skosh. It's very close to a 50-50. Was it? Yep. Which I thought it would be. Did you? Yep. I think I'm missing the stem of the pipe. I think I need, this What's one stem? has to be brown. That one has to be brown. 
and then the purple line comes down here. Oh, it's I don't want to give both choices. You had to, what's your favorite? That's basically what I forced you to do. Yeah, it was what your favorite. Yeah, what was your favorite? Because we want to know. You know, uh, we uh, we appreciate you guys hanging in there with us. Here's the. Can we do close realism for our academy? We certainly can't do that for YouTube, though. It no, we do long. the realism. Some of the most amazing things we have in our art academy. Um, are really interesting. Another one that's going to be coming up. Oh, I love that th one. Then this and then one we fixed them. This was a, a. This, as you see, you love this horse. This is a. You have a to go for, watch an old video and find out what he used to look like. Um, uh, uh, this is the start off as a palette knife kind of horse. This why this horse. This will be a lesson coming up in the academy. I love horses. Grew up with them, so you'll always see me painting them. Um, this is an academy lesson that will be coming up soon too. So just figured I'd show you that right now. And what do you guys think? Don't you think we did pretty good with this? Oh, like we're running out of time. I got to get another, another yeah. entree. Yeah, do another, do another contest, John, because I'm <clears> going to get ready to sign this. And if I have to, um, uh, I guess I could do it. If, if you're running out of time, I could do something. No, like I'm a, not running out of time. Are you, I'm going to use my um, my black sharpie to see if there's anything else I want to outline here because there just feel like I needed to do a little of that um, put a little colon center so don't feel bad these these Posca pens uh, the, those Posca pens they they once they dry they're permanent you can't you can't beat them as far as you know being able to for details so if you're having a little trouble and the and maybe you're not holding the brush as steady as you'd like uh, don't be afraid to, um, uh, do not be afraid to, uh, you know, use one, okay? So here's a little bit of, um, I see, there's this bottom lip, there's this bottom lip under here at the pipe a little bit. So this actually came out, this was his bottom part of his lip right there. I just missed it, okay. Well, all right, put it in there. There's the bottom part of his lip. Okay, so I got that. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this this came out really nifty keen all things considered um i could put a little more well as long as we're you know here in john's drawing stuff i think i want to take some uh, thalo blue and magenta and white and i want a kind of a purple color maria maria adams winner of a seven day academy membership oh congratulations maria that's awesome again I want, this is my last layer on the, on the, this has oh, got yeah, a little yeah. bit more magenta in it. A little bit, a little bit more lightness. Yeah, see, curly Give it the going. contrast. Yeah, just, so you got that kind of three tones in there on his fr fuzzy, fun little furry hat. And the same thing with his, um, I, I hate to get more white paint, but here's the thalo blue. And if I put a little magenta in it, it um, I'm gonna have to put out some white paint. It's all I did pretty good with that little bit, but it's all kind of contaminated. And this little light blue, like here, looks a little flat. Let me just show you what we can do with that uh, to get those little tiny brush strokes that we like. So we want to come back over here and just this is the next layer of little brush strokes and. Just put those up like that. Okay, and here's that, like I say, the top of his light blue. He had it a little bit more gray, but I, I like the, the turquoise. And just pulling it in there like that. Okay, and then he had the dark coming underneath here like that. Christine okay. Harmel. Christine Harmon? Yeah, she Harmer. won too. Harmel. Harmel. Oh. Wow. Harmel. Winner of a one credit downloadable lesson. Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, there's a lot. When we talk about one credit, we, we, we tell you these, the, the one credit is the value is anywhere between five and $40. 50. 50. Anywhere between, you've won basically up to a $50 downloadable lesson. These are big gifts, you guys. <laughs> Compliments and, again of Sharon Poof. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Right? Before you so, poof. You know, just so you know, right? And um, again, I want to put a little bit more white. Now I'm going to go back with some white here on this bandage. Just there you go. Just a couple spots to get that white on there. See the contrast? 
and I think I think we I think we could. Uh, so how do you sign something like this? Well, you know, um, you could sign it uh, Mary after Van Gogh or um, just your name. I mean, it's just it's your interpretation of one of his uh, paintings. Yes, I want some dark in here like that. Um, I keep looking at his and finding touches up to do, which you can always do. But, you know, play with this. Have fun with this. Keep the brush strokes smart. I, in this case, will just do... Um, I'm just going to put my name on here, Cook. This is my interpretation of it. And I will put the red slash through it. And I hope that, you know, this was kind of fun. I think this was kind of fun, you guys. Do you guys have any more questions? Was this fun? Hope this no, was. it's not fun. Nobody liked it. They all hated it. Oh, really? No. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> I can wait. All right, so we're, we're all good with the... with. The, we got the last winner of a seven-day... Seven-day? Yep. Seven-day Academy membership. Yeah. Academy membership goes to Emily Draina. Draina. I'm going to go with Draina. D-R-A-Y-N-A. -A. All right. Congratulations. Am I close? D-R-A-Y-N-A. Draina. Right. I would think Draina. Dra Dra no. D-R, what is it? D-R-A-Y-N-A. Dre, Dre, nah. Yeah, Drena? I guess Drena. so. Okay. I think it's close enough. I okay. think she'll know who she is. Okay. <clears throat> Again, all winners, I will email you. It will be coming from techbearservice at gmail.com. Look for it. Uh, yeah, Within 30 minutes, more or less. Looks less. Right. <laughs> and then again, uh, we're we're you know we're having fun with. I I was uh, you know resident at first about uh, uh, you know doing this um, Van Gogh because I thought you know on YouTube would this be kind of tricky. But I think I have great confidence if you get it traced on well. Again, would you reiterate that we have the trace? We have the um, you know uh, you can print out his picture on our um, on our Pinterest board, Ginger Cook Live. Um, all one word on Pinterest, and then look for YouTube 2019 videos, and then um, you'll see that uh, you'll see a photograph of the artwork that you can then trace trace on. Okay, and we again we did transfer paper. Uh, we used the Sorel transfer paper to get the image on, and we started with an orange canvas. So that's how we did it. Okay, I want to play one video I came across. Um, see if it'll brighten your day. And then we'll be right back for a few more words of wisdom. So just, just watch this. Okay, so so run, this, run, run, this, run. So that's why people say you guys should have a camera with you 24 hours a day, it's always constantly running. Well, you should run that and ask me that again. I think people, we could add this, right? Run the camera again. Camera's running. What am I saying? Well, John, I think we've got to welcome people to our... Um, to our uh, Facebook club, you know, because we're getting the words getting out. People really, I tell you, I'm looking at John here. Maybe I'm looking at you, but I'm looking at John. John, we've got to be telling people how much we appreciate the fact they joined our club. What a neat place it is to be. Don't you think that's a great idea? I think it's a great idea. Do you know how I know it's a great idea? How do you know it's a great idea? Because brilliance happens in this room. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> the queen's wave. The queen of color is waving. Bye. Bye. What are you expected to do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you stop it? <laughs> Should I stop it? Probably so. Bye. <laughs> Bye. How many bites are you going to give us? Tell you, turn off the camera, sweet cakes. <laughs> How do you know it's not on? How do you know it's on? I don't know. So you can be sitting over there being a total fool. <laughs> well, I don't have to have the camera on to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Are you through? Yeah. Bye. Did you turn it off? <laughs>
video? Huh? <laughs> Cause that crazy video. And we're back. All right. I, I so what do you guys question. think? A little humor? A little humor for the day. <laughs> All right. Let's I just couldn't resist. No, I'm sorry. I just, as I was going through trying to find the other video I'm supposed to be playing, I came across that one and I just, I just, I just, I was in the aisles laughing. I just couldn't help myself. It was so oh. funny. All right. Well, say good night. Thanks for watching. And, um, Oh, we mean we're really, this show's over? Uh, hmm. I think so, don't you? I think we did pretty <laughs> good. I, I, I'm excited about, I'm glad I was able to show you how to paint this and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I think you did a great job. I think it's great fun and, you know, you know, just everyone's going to come out a little differently. Don't worry about it. Just do the best you can. Have fun with it. Try to go for the lights and dark values. If you can, take a black and white photo of what you've painted. Like, for instance, like here was our black and white photo of his and you, you definitely want to use a black and white for your traceables i mean that, that's you a good use the black and white for the traceables and also you can see where the you know this side of the face is darker than the nose and it kind of gives you helps you see the values of your painting so be sure to do that and uh, and i can't wait to see what you're painting so remember and, you know at the end of the movie there we showed you that had our facebook link join the club join so the we can club, see so yeah join see the club it. so you can see what's going on so we say good night gracie Good night, John. I'm not crazy. You're, you're not crazy? Good <laughs> <laughs> night, guys. Good night, everyone. Now, we're going to do this. We're going to kind of do back-to-back -back things here. So, All here right, we go. Take care. Thanks, everybody, for watching. You see, I, hope, I hope this is right. Let me turn our sound back on. Hold on a second. I can turn our sound back on so I make sure we got the right, <laughs> doing the right thing. All right, here we go. Well, you guys, I don't think I can look at another commercial about how to unstop the toilet or um maybe you two can learn to draw that you know we we have to have those in our video in order to kind of cover some costs but i thought it would be fun as long as we were doing it to put a commercial in for ourselves so here's the here's the commercial from me to you I want you to have a wonderful day. I want you to be the artist you can be. I want you to get up in the morning and say, today's the day I'm going to be happier than I was yesterday. This is my commercial and wishing you the bestest, happiest day of your life. And art hugs from John and I. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.